Hello everyone, I'm Charlie Sheehan, councillor and also the Mayor of Kootenundra Gundigo Regional Council and I'll give you a quick brief update of our meeting last night. Uh, before that, I'd like to welcome Steve McGrath, our new Interim General Manager. Steve comes to us with 30 odd years of uh, General Manager um, experience behind him, coming from Coffs Harbour and he was also the general manager at Young back in the 90s, so he's also quite familiar with the region and uh, we're hoping he'll settle in well here at Cootamundra. At last night's council meeting, we had an open forum with three speakers, which council appreciates that input from the community. And the um, input was around roads and conditions, which we're all aware of, and uh, projects and progress that's happening those projects right across the council. Uh, we had our draft payments of expenses and provisions of facilities for mayors and councillors uh, presented to council and accepted. Uh, minutes were received from the Arts Centre Cootamundra and also the Cootamundra Matamar Creek Regenerative Group. Financial statements for 2022 were presented to council and referred to the auditor so there'll be further uh, analysis of the finances into the future uh, when that auditor's report comes back. We had a report received with the financial update on capital and operational expenditure and we also had the Old Mill Gunnigai Development Funding status uh, which will be held over until further discussion with the local member Steph Cook and working on possible funding sources to look at a more holistic approach to the Old Bridge as well as the mill and major tourist attractions in Gundigai. We also had a discussion around the youth councils, both Cootamundra and Gundigai in their future and ways that we can support and strengthen those councils which do provide a great uh, service to the youth in our communities and uh, I've sat in on a lot of the Cootamundra Youth Council meetings and, and I see the amazing uh, youngsters there that come up with some fantastic ideas that provide great uh, development for leadership into the future for, for our youth. So supporting that will be a good thing for the council. Uh, we had civil works updates which was mostly around road repairs, bridges and infrastructure that, that is ongoing and also we have uh, uh, some good news coming up very very shortly which will be announced on some new major projects across the local government area and also um, we're well aware that we have a lot of pro projects still in progress, particularly Jubilee Park and looking forward to some great outcomes there. So that's it from me and uh, hopefully we can continue these little briefings. Oh, okay, you can edit that in. Just a reminder, Max has given me some <laughs> Australia Day is tomorrow, so please all come along and attend and see our Citizens of the Year, Youth of the Year and those people who achieve wonderfully. So thanks Maxine, I didn't have that. <laughs> okay, bye.